Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Blessings in the name of Jesus. Once again, my name is Pastor Clay with Pastor Aaron and the Breakthrough family. Truly an honor and pleasure to be here today once again to share a powerful word with you. So if, you, if you're going through anything, like I always say, if you're going through anything, why I say that? Because it's a reality. We all dealing with something and we need to come out of it. But the only power available to do that is the name of Jesus. So if you think I'm just talking just to talk, try it yourself and find out. Call on the name of Jesus and see what happens. OK, I'm not just talking. I'm telling you, demonstrating the power of it. So I want to encourage you today to just be still for a moment. Don't be quick to shoot down to the next feed, you know, for entertainment. But take this moment for the devotional time, I like to call it, and I like to share a word with you. I like to share a word to those right now that are still holding on to some stuff in their life, pertaining to their past, you know, that the past relationships that went bad, uh, past people that can die off, past people that can hurt you, past people that can lie on you, past people who can, took your kindness for weakness and you've been a blessing to them, but yet they turn around and do something else to you. I'm talking to those people today. I want to share a word with you today because this word is for you and it's for those who uh, going through motions in their life right now where disappointment and hurt and pain and misery and all this stuff is just crammed up into one. But I got a word for you today. And this is what Jesus said uh, to uh, 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 the people who needed a word. But Paul was speaking to them, though, uh, pertaining to Romans chapter 8 and verse 1. And this is what the word says. It says, therefore, there is now... No condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So I need you to get this and say, once again, therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And the word now in there, is, it, it highlights that what Jesus did, he set a whole new trend because of all the condemnations that was on the people. Now understand that condemnation means this. It means that you're still holding on to some stuff from 1962. You're still holding on to some stuff that hurt you. You're still holding on to your family members that, that turned their backs on you. You're still holding on to disappointments and, and loved ones dying away. You're still stuck for years. And the enemy, which is spiritual darkness that controls you and your emotions when you're miserable, when you're speaking negative things, when everything you see is negative, you, you can't see nothing good in nothing. It's condemnation that the enemy is using to torment you on the Lord. And what do you do? As he torment you with it, you begin to get worse, meaning that your thought pattern goes like this. And keeps going. And you can't stop it. And negative thoughts everywhere. Every time you look up, you, it's negativeness coming. Toxic energy. Relationships. Jesus said, therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Well, what, what do you mean by that, Pastor Clay? He means that whoever the Son sets free. Is free indeed. Now, I'm not talking about religion here because we can easily go to a religious state and we, I give you a biblical history lesson. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about deliverance. I'm talking about being free. I'm talking about coming out of grave clothing. That's what I'm talking about. Watch this. And verse 2 say, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. See, you need to understand what Paul is saying to him is because the, the law of sin at that time before the now came in is that there wasn't no power available to break sin. Sin was operating at the full force like it's operating right now. But the difference with those in Christ is that it has no power of us. We have the power of it. So that means that we can say to things with the power of the Holy Spirit in our life, peace be still in the name of Jesus, and it happens. Some people may say, oh, man, I don't want to believe that. Well, you know what? 
The word tells me this, that every knee is going to bow to this. And every tongue is going to confess that Jesus is Lord. Yeah, you could bet that one. Well, what if he's not real? Oh, he's real. How do you know that, Pastor Clay? Because the Holy Spirit is in me. And in those and those and those people who believe. It's on them to operate and access the Holy Spirit. It's not just sitting dormant where we want to say Jesus is my Lord, but yet I'm submitting to something else. When I'm saying Jesus is my Lord, but yet I'm hanging out with some stuff that's choking the word in my life. And I'm not growing. All I know is religion. Well, I've been in church ever since I was five years old and I came up, my father and my mother were a little bit little. But the church wasn't in you. What is the church? The church is the place inside of every heart that believes that Jesus is the Son of God and that that power that's in them is the same resurrection power that raised them up. It's the same power that's in you. Try it and see. Fall to your knees. Call out to God and see for yourself. You don't have to listen to other people. Try it for yourself and see what God will do for you. You don't have to be miserable today. You don't have to keep shooting down to every evil thing that's going on today that's now looked at as good, it's bad, but it's looked at as good, and what's good is looked at as being bad. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Watch this. Time is getting short. I hope you get this word today. He said, free me from sin and death. The sin that had the power over me don't have it no more. And death have lost this thing. Death has no power over me because when I leave this plane, I'm free in the next. And I want to encourage you, if you haven't made Jesus your Lord and Savior, that you do it today. Every day is not promised. It's imperative that you patch it up with God and make your reservations while it's still day. Today. And I'm opening prayer because time is running out. Say the prayer with me if you choose. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today. Forgive me for my sins. I call upon you today to be my Lord and my Savior of my life. Help me and strengthen me to walk with you. And to know you. Help me to bow before you and give my heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you said that prayer, we want to hear from you. Just put a little comment in it that you prayed that prayer. And we want to stand with you here at the Breakthrough Church to help you to grow in Christ. And if you uh, have a desire to, to just step out on faith, step out on faith and start slicing some of them giants down in your life with faith in your sword, which is the word of God. Use the word of God in the name of Jesus. Anger, get away from me. In the name of Jesus. Sickness, get away from me. In the name of Jesus. Uh, misery, get away from me. And then you begin to lose the interest to be around toxic energy. Remember, delete, delete, delete. That's everything that the enemy try to torment with you, with your past, how, how you think, your thoughts and everything. When it's negative energy, when it's toxic energy that comes to your mind, delete. Delete. And watch and see what God do. I got one more verse and we about to close with this. Really get this. So. In verse six. God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful man to be a sin offering. So what are you talking about? He sent Jesus in the flesh as he did with the natural man so that Jesus will know everything about what everything that we go through here on this earth. Understand this key. So there will be no excuses. Well, you didn't understand. You didn't understand God. And he's going to say, yes, I did. I sent my son 
And he walked right in the shoes of man. So you can't tell me you didn't understand. So with that, we want to thank you once again, uh, Pastor Clay, Pastor Everett, Breakthrough Family. It's an honor and pleasure to be here to serve you with a word. We thank you today. Hold your head up, keep it high, and remember that God is on the throne. He got your back. My name is Pastor Clay. <laughs>